Hey, how y'all doing, man? My name is Perry C. Pigeon, and I work at an accounting firm downtown. Yeah, I could easily fly to work, but I'm in the corporate world now, so I commute just like everybody else, man. But I'm going to grab a coffee from my favorite spot and head right on to work, man. Y'all be good, man. Praise God. Has anybody seen yeah. my catnip? I could have sworn I left it on the edge of the litter box. I don't even remember. Oh, what the? I never, I never knew. Anyway, guys, listen. Are you ready for this massage? Cause... Wait, hold on. I don't know that smell. Wait, that's the smell of the Catnip Enforcement Agency, the CEA. They busted me back in 2014 for possession of illegal catnip. Natalie, you working for the feds? Are you laughing out here? I remember it like it was yesterday. They had me busted for 12 days in the kennel with dogs. With dogs, Natalie. Hey now, hey now, dibs. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Hey, hey man, let's get in on these rabbits, George. George, man, let's do this, man. Hey, hey I love you, little guy, man. Let's do this, man. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I trusted you, man. You working with the fans, man. I don't know who to trust now. Yeah, we got you cornered now, Faustino. No, oh, you got nothing to say? Oh, he's quiet now. He was spilling his guts the other day. Look at him standing out there all pompous. You know what? Let me slide out of these shadows and give him the paw of humility, man. I feel like a piece of this paw, man. Who do you think you are okay, out there? people, now as we look at the tape, I was in that cabinet waiting for about four hours just stewing and plotting on how I was going to get this dude. And luckily, he matched up perfectly with the opening of the cabinet. It was perfect. No pun intended. Okay. Now, mind you, this dude is just pompous all day, every day, in the window sill, on the arm of the couch, looking down on everybody like he's better than us. So my paw was forged in the fires of Mount Petty. Okay. So I had to line up the paw perfectly with his entitled eyeball and then just deliver the strike of destiny like Kirk Patrick it was perfect and then I just descended back into the shadows of pettiness from which I emerged the utmost satisfaction that is why I prefer the human toilet over the litter box Man, get your booze yes mm, we got your ass now Mr. Mittens hey you two grab him from the backside we gonna grab him and hold him from the front I'm gonna grab and hold his whiskey hey, you what up in here you not running Oh, Jesus. You see all that man and women jump me just because I came to holler at Christine? Man, that's all I came to do, man. Don't be thinking again before you come in here and holler at my We got to grab him and hold him for your ass in here. Mm -hmm. Look at him over there and lay up in his boy's head. Boy, let me tell you something. I learned a valuable lesson here today. Now, put the camera on me, man. Look, I learned a valuable lesson. Never underestimate these chickens. The hen house is the trap house. My nose is top notch. I can find the treat anywhere. You see, you see, of course, mm, of course, I found it. You know, cause, cause how do I say goodbye to what I could have had? Dogs, dogs. Oh, not so fast, playboy. Hmm? Come on. Hmm? Collect yourself, baby boy. Coming in hot. Come on. Hmm? Jesus got back up. They said the horse is unmatched. As you could. Oh. Jesus, the hell? Oh, yeah. Lord, Man, tell I'm all right. Me. I'm all right. Okay. <gasps> all right, people. Now, as we look at the tape, man, I was putting together a little frolic documentary. And as I approached the fence, I was going to stop, but then I was like, nah, let me keep going. By that time, the momentum just carried me over. My front legs couldn't get over. And my neck, man, when I landed on my neck, I'm surprised it didn't snap, crackle, and pop like some breakfast cereal, man. But I'll tell you what hurt the most was my pride. I got up as mad humility in the get up. Because I've seen horses turn to glue for less. Okay, so I just felt really bad, and I had to go on with the documentary, man. Well, let's get it now. Look at who you came to see. Bow and step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you came to see. Bow when you step on your street. Come on, now. Look at who you came to see. Bow when you step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you came to see. Bow. Oh God, Jesus. Yeah. Sophia, did you step on them kids again? Ain't nobody stepping on these kids, Howard. Now, Cody was supposed to come in with the bow when we step on the street notes. I heard him going, boom, boom. I heard it. I heard it. Then you said the Lord Jesus for the confirmation. Look, look, I didn't step on these kids, Howard. Look, look. 
Cody, did I step on you? Yeah, you stepped right on my Dennis apple. First of all, it's Adam's apple, little boy. And secondly, well, I, I stepped on him one time. Y'all don't know me. Whoa. <laughs> hey, is that lunch? Hey, wait, uh, listen. That rat is artificially flavored, meaning as artificial as fake, meaning I can't eat it, okay? Let me let me look again. Yeah, yeah, it's fake. It's fake as hell. I can't eat fake rats. You got anything organic in there? Is that organic rodent? Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, this is fake too. Bow and step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you came to see. Bow when you step on your street. One more. Now, look at who you came to see. Bow when you step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you came to see.